Welcome back. A unique new crop is emerging here on Long Island, and scientists are hoping it can help restore the health of our waterways. News 12's Doug Geed explains in a story you'll see only on 12. In just about every northeast state, there is commercial kelp farming. Granted, it's not very pretty, but scientists say sugar kelp does beautiful to our environment. It grows by sucking the nitrogen up out of the water. And when we harvest that kelp, we are removing that nitrogen from the water. Too much nitrogen has been blamed for all those damaging algae blooms and brown tides in our bays. Mike Dole is one of the people at Stony Brook Southampton campus that's been researching the commercial viability of sugar kelp farms on Long Island. It's really a win-win because in addition to those environmental benefits, there's also an economic side to it. And kelp has lots of applications for lots of different industries. So it's another potential crop for Long Island marine farmers to grow, to diversify their oyster farms, create added revenue streams, and then help improve the environment at the same time. It also tastes good. Sugar kelp is commonly served at restaurants throughout New England. It's going to be neat to see these on more menus throughout the island. Colin Keeler of the Jedediah Hawkins Inn and Restaurant in Jamesport says he's been experimenting with sugar kelp while cooking. He says most restaurant customers are anxious to try local products. A lot of people are, you know, clearly out here in the East End, especially in the North Fork, you know, with all the farms that we have, there's lots of people that are always out looking for what's coming out, what's new, what the farmer, what the farm stands are putting out. And they look for that on the menus. I think by next year we'll be growing sugar kelp. The interest is there, the excitement's there. We're really going to kill this once it takes off. Scientists at Stony Brook have been working with commercial farmers and say the sugar kelp grows well in all of Long Island's waterways, Long Island Sound, the Peconic Estuary, and South Shore Bays. In Southampton, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island.